What's going on, guys? Ever wonder what it's like to attend your own car audio competition? Well, guess what? EXO is going to take you through the day on what it's like to experience an SPL competition. All right, guys, about to enter the van. Got my directions. Got an extra pair of, uh, well, an extra shirt in case I get cold. Whoops, sorry. I'm ready to go. Nice and warm in the van. My voltage sitting at 14.98. Clean off my uh, windshield here. Slam dunk. I'll just give you guys a quick glimpse of the subwoofers. And uh, one key thing about going to shows. Try not to listen to your system on the way there. I know it's hard. I know it's really hard. But just try to because it'll bring you up maybe maybe a whole DB. You know? I have made it safely to the Harley Davidson in Ma uh, excuse me, Manchester. Oh, shit. I'm missing my green light. And I'm going to get hit. All right. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay. I'm going to try to find uh, some food before I get going because usually when you go to shows and whatnot, you want to stay there for the whole day. So I'm going to try to prepare a little bit and bring like a few cheeseburgers or something from McDonald's or whatever. Um, and I got the registration money. I got uh, toll money for the way back. So, yep, I'm looking forward to seeing who showed up at the show. And i um, just trying to find McDonald's right now. What the hell does that say? First part of the mission complete. Coming in at the show. It's a nice turnout. The only people here for SPL are me and Derek right now. You guys know him. You guys just need to get a little load of but take a look at the outcome we got like a couple hundred people here so far i mean holy shit you got this kid calling me over <laughs> we got him come see what he has to say to us probably saw me talking to myself let me show you something you need to get you need to get one of those in there what is that 32 inch oh yeah yeah man where'd you see that from florida that's where you gotta go i've never seen type r 15s before yeah. that's great All right, next step in the process, I'm getting ready to go in the lane, so I'm just getting my visors all positioned, angle the air just right, and I'm gonna remove my seat, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, the seat is now removed. Right now, I'm just trying to gain everything I can, gain as much DB as I can, possibly can. I'm gonna put all the shit down here in the kick, make sure there's no clutter in my, around in here. Make sure I take that cup, make a clear, nice, good path for all the air to travel through the cabin. Right to the right where the mic will be. Hello, missus. You can do it. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, hello, YouTube. Hey. <laughs> All right. Maximize the cabin space. Now I'm getting into the ride. Next part of the process. And what? Uh, like I like I said, bass brawling is 30 seconds of average music. And uh, the bass you hear right now is my buddy. I got the music on pause. And another, like I just mentioned, uh, she's making fun of me because I'm talking to myself. Just whatever. Uh, and then uh. So yeah, constant bass. Now I'm gonna go into the lane, mother. Getting into the lanes. I'm gonna put the camera down. Turn my backup camera on so I can see some shit. Whoops, everything's falling over. All right, now this is the hardest part of everything. This is when you're getting ready to start. They got me on, you know, everyone's on standby over here and people, have, tons of people are looking at me right now talking to myself, but whatever. I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, my music is on pause. I'm going to crank the volume up, make sure I'm playing once it's going. Then this is how I can control my bass when I'm bass brawling. I'm going to put it on nominal right now and then get ready to push play. But I'm putting the camera down. I'm going to put the camera down right here in the corner. If it falls over or whatever, I'm doing what I got to do. All right. All right, my window's open now. Hey, hey Derek, you want to film it? Derek, I'm coming to you. Three. Going right now, yep. waiting. 50.3, you gotta turn it up this time. Motherfucker! <laughs>
Okay, guys, my camera died, but I found an extra uh, AA battery, so I probably have a couple minutes just to talk to you guys. Um, I ended up getting first place in the uh, base brawling 300 class. Got myself a trophy. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, thanks, Amplified Impressions, for putting on the show. It was really fun. And um, yeah, now I'm going to go home. Oh, I'm going to start my drive home. I have about 80 miles to travel. And um, I'm going to try to get some food in my stomach because I'm really hungry. And, and for those people who don't know a lot about Crohn's disease, um, it's a nutritional disease having to do with like your bowels and your intestines and stuff and you can't really absorb food very well so I have to keep myself like a like a cow. My doctor said eat like a cow, um, which means grazing. I have to graze all day long and eat. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better now and um, I don't have to go to so many doctor's appointments. But being on uh, prednisone, they have to keep you uh, keep tabs on you and shit because prednisone is a pretty hardcore steroid and they might put me on budesonide which is like an alternative to that but um you know here we go i'm just gonna start going home and ha all right once i get like halfway home I'll, I'll check in with you guys okay all right over and out check in about halfway home. I just went by Exeter, New Hampshire on 101 and I'm about to go on 95 North and yep again I just had a good time today and I'm just gonna throw this video up on my second channel you know sometimes it's fun just to watch something if you're bored so whatever. I want to talk about a little more about um, Crohn's disease and I'd like to talk about my cousin. Um, my cousin Brian has it too but he has it full flared and he he evident, uh, excuse me, he eventually had to get a colostomy bag, and that's what I'm going to talk about in the next video, and I'm going to show you guys some, um, some behind the scenes footage of, of some of the tests I had to do, and some of the medication that I have to take. Um, I, I really appreciate, really, really appreciate you guys sending messages, um, especially the people who have Crohn's disease, or people who know people who have it. Um, your stories um, really keep me positive. I can't. I don't know if you can see me right now, but it really means a lot. Um, checking my inbox and seeing uh, something that says, um, you know, please read, and then and then I read this really touching uh, message, you know. And, and the thing is, people act like I'm gonna die. You know, a lot of people have Crohn's disease and they can still live normal everyday lives. There's a comedian actually that I uh, I read some of his material who has Crohn's disease, and he made this so friggin' funny. I'm gonna be fine. Um, you know, it's a it's a family thing. My cousin has it. His dad has it, and so um, you know, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Until the next video. Thank you guys for coming on with me for this um, SPL show, and um, I'm gonna try to update you guys a little more on my condition, my condition and my health, and how I've been doing in the next video. So I'll talk to you guys then. See you later.